Welcome to Amazon Intrinsic Valuation from Learn, Invest, Achieve channel. Today we will know why Amazon is in crossroads. Either the company will witness another home run for the stock or it will continue to lose more of its value. And as usual, I want to remind you that this video is not financial advice and is for entertainment purposes only. I heavily depend on the financial and non-financial information that I collect from the annual reports or the 10K reports for 2022 and a number of prior years reports. These reports are prepared by Amazon and filed with the SEC as one of the publicly traded companies filing requirements. And you can find these reports on the SEC website by searching the company ticker symbol as you can see here and view and download them from this section. Amazon is the biggest online retailer that allows third parties to sell on the platform and the company also unintentionally created another business model in 2006 that is the AWS or the Amazon Web Services. This business provide on-demand cloud computing services for other companies. And I said it was created unintentionally because Amazon needs extra computer servers during the fourth quarter of the year to handle the extra flow of orders due to Halloween and Christmas seasons. But they don't need this extra computer power during the other nine months of the year. So they started renting their servers when they don't need them and this how the new business model was created. Amazon has one class of stock with the ticker symbol AMZN and they report the results of their operations in a calendar year that ends on December 31st so they already finished their 2022 year and we will be forecasting the intrinsic value for 2023. They have a clean auditor report for 2022 which means that the external auditor company didn't find any issues with the financial statements and therefore we can trust these financial statements as well. And over here, I have the financial info that should help us to evaluate the company from all three financial statements, the income statement, the balance sheet statement, and the cash flow statement. Looking at the revenue in 2022, AWS or Amazon Web Services made only 16% of the revenue and the retail business in North America made 61%, while the international retail business that is other than North America made 23% of 2022 revenue. In terms of geographical regions, the United States is the largest market followed by Germany, United Kingdom, and then Japan. Moving on to compare the revenue year over year, the revenue is increasing every year, and since 2015, actually the revenue increased by about four times. The cost of revenue and the operating expenses are growing normally with the growth of the revenue. But I want to mention that the gross margins are kinda low, ranging between 2 to 6%. And in 2022, the gross margins were only 2%, which in my opinion is not really good news for investors, because it means that the business needs to depend on the volume. Which also means, growth is hard to achieve, but of course not impossible. But the actual concerning part is the free cash flow as we can see here. In 2021, it took a nosedive. It went to negative 9 billion after positive 31 billion in 2020. And in 2022, the negative free cash flow trend continued because the company reported a negative 11 billion in free cash flow. And we can say that this is a concerning matter about Amazon, simply because the business is burning more cash than the operation can generate. Moving on to the debt, it is not concerning matter because in 2022 it's only 15% of total assets, which means only 15% of the assets are funded by debt. Scrolling down, Amazon can service their debt easily because the times interest earned ratio in 2022 is 19 times. In other words, in 2022 Amazon made 19 times the interest expense that they need to pay to service their debt, so we don't need to worry about the debt and the company's solvency. Moving on to the outstanding shares, it has been increasing every year by an average of 1.2% and I want to mention that this increase of outstanding shares is not going to fund the operations because it's mainly used for stock-based compensation. And going to the annual report, we can see here in the statement of shareholders equity and the same number shown in the free cash flow statement, in 2022 the stock-based compensation was 19.6 billion and 12.6 billion in 2021, while in 2020 it was 9.2 billion. In my opinion, it is kinda not comfortable to know that investors are diluted by an average of 1.2% every year, 
and is not even going to fund the operations to achieve more growth. I don't think it's a concerning matter, but definitely not a comfortable situation for Amazon. Going back to the Excel file and moving on to the dividends, Amazon is not a dividend company and it is not planning to be one in the near future. So now we can move on to the forecast. We start with the revenue and then the free cash flow and finally the outstanding shares to find the free cash flow per share. So we try different ratios to find a consistent metric in the financials that helps us to accurately forecast next year revenue. And it seems that the inventory turnover is the most consistent ratio and it ranged from 15 to 20 in the past 5 years with an average of 17. This means that we expect Amazon to sell and replenish the inventory 17 times in 2023. The free cash flow to revenue ratio, or in other words, how much of the revenue will be free cash flow, is actually negative 2 in the last 2 years. So in my opinion, giving a value to the stock from the perspective of generating a return on investment, Amazon stock worth zero. But in my opinion, Amazon is a giant international company, and if they have been investing a lot to the point that they will have a negative free cash flow, it is possible that they have a huge thing working on like a new market or a business segment. So for the purposes of this analysis, let's assume that the free cash flow to revenue ratio is the same as the 5 year average from 2016 to 2020, which is 8%. For 2023 outstanding shares, in my opinion, the company will issue and sell 1% of 2022 outstanding shares. We will use a discount rate in this analysis because we are trying to find the stock value at the end of 2023 and the discount rate that we are using is a table one year rate which is 4.47%. You can find this rate on the United States official website to invest in bonds, bills and notes that is treasurydirect.gov. Click on marketable securities and then treasury bills. Then scroll down and click on results of recent bill auctions. Then click again on the 20 most recent auctions. Scroll down to find the first 52 weeks that is one year in time. And here it is, 4.47%. Going back to our file, next we have the return on investment ratio. And I will start with 5% but it's up to you and how you want to build your investment portfolio. You can change it to 7% or 2% because it's totally up to you. So in my opinion, these forecast keys will give us about 555 billion in revenue in 2023. And if we decide that the free cash flow is 8% of this revenue, this means that the total free cash flow for 2023 is 44.3 billion. And using the forecasted outstanding shares, the free cash flow per share is $4.29 before discounting it to today's value. And using 5% return on investment and 4.47 discount rate, in my opinion, the intrinsic value of Amazon stock is $81.95. Keeping in mind that this valuation is with the assumption that 2023 free cash flow will be a positive amount that is not the case in the past two years. The current stock price is around $102, so in my opinion, it is currently overvalued and we could see a gradual slide down the stock price in the next few days. Unless of course that Amazon will make some announcement of a positive surprising thing in the business that was the reason behind burning so much cash to the point of having negative free cash flow in the past two years. One last thing I want to mention, many thanks for those who subscribed and supported the channel, you are actually the reason that I make more videos. So if you haven't subscribed yet, please consider supporting this channel with two simple clicks. Click to subscribe and smash that like button.